All right, so now we've got this guy, and let's go ahead and take it into a project um, and repeat it. So let me close our existing one. And I'm just going to go to File, New, Project, and I'll pick the uh, metric template and click OK. So I'm just going to do a blank one. And you could do this too. You could actually bring this into a blank file and link it in and, you know, do some reloading and unloading, but it's kind of up to you. So, um, so now um, I'll just go back here and go to load into project. All right, and so I'll load this guy into project. And let's just bring it down here. And I'll left click. And it'll take it a minute to put it in, but not too long. And then I'll hit escape a couple of times. And if I go to my 3D view, that's what I've got, right? Basically that. Now, if I pick this guy and I go to edit type, the only type that I'm going to get are the width and the height. To get back and adjust like the size of the bamboo and all that kind of stuff, you have to go back and open up this family. But, um, but I don't think that that's too difficult. We could pass some of them through if we needed to, but we'll talk about that later. Uh, but if I go to my floor plan, I can pick this guy and I can go to the array command and I can pick it and uh, just type in 3000. Right. And then we'll just say six. Okay. And it will take a minute to copy these. Right. Um, and it has some overlaps. I'm not sure um, what that is, but I'm not going to worry about it. Um, and click OK. And then I'm just going to ungroup these. Okay. So now they're not grouped anymore. And then I'll pick this and I will array it six in the other direction, right? So 6,000. And we'll do six. So we'll have 36 of these. So it'll take a minute, obviously. It's not a totally small task. Um, and it will give us a hundred and some odd errors about overlapping as well, but we're just going to ignore it. But once it's done, it, it seems to be pretty light. So, um, okay. And we just click OK here. And then um, you can ungroup them if you want to, if you're not going to mess with them anymore. Um, so it doesn't have to keep track of those groups, but it's kind of up to you how you want to do it. Um, Take a minute. Okay. And then if I go to 3D view, it's, it's pretty, you know, like it's pretty facile. So here's the issue, right? Is that once we get to the ends, right, all these ends don't work. Like basically we need, um, this side, like we need a six, a three and a six, a six, a three and a six, a six, a three and a six. Right. So, um, you can go in and create another one that does a six, a three and a six. Right. And this one is a little unique. This one is a three, six, three, three, six, three, three, six, three, three, six, three. So you would need to make two more. Right. Um, so just to end these off correctly, but this part from all the way from here to here is half as many bamboos as if you did the whole one. Right. So, um, so I'm not going to show you how to make each one of these, but I've got them made and um, I'll bring them in. So I've decided to go and show you how to make this. Um, so here's the original one and I've saved it as a different name, 636. The first one was 63, so I did a save as. And then if you come in, you can actually just pick this line and create form. And then if you pick this, you can set it to the height, right? And now that'll go to the correct height. And then if I isolate this, so I'm just going to isolate this element, I can then divide it, right? And turn on the um, nodes. And then I can set the layout number to the U1 and the V1, right? And then I can just go in and do what we did before. So I'll do the beam here. I'll do the column here. Whoops. Let's do the column here. 
And then we'll do the cylinder right here and here. Okay. Um, and then do the repeat, do the repeat, do the repeat, do the repeat. Right. And then I'll go in. Flip those guys out for the cylinders. And then I don't believe I need this one. We'll see. You can always update it later. Oops. Okay. And then let's reset to bring it back. Like, yeah, because that one, if it repeats over there. So now I have the 636. So if I save that and then load this into the uh, project. It'll want to place it, but I don't really need to place it. So I'm just going to load it. I guess I can place it out here somewhere just so you can see it. All right. But now I can, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, right? I can now flip that out for the 636 and it'll finish off that end, right? Okay. And it yells at you, but you see it finishes it off correctly, right? So now we have that whole whole thing in there. And then we would have to come in and um, this one would actually be a full one, right? And this would be a 363, right? So you would make a 363 and just flip them out. Um, I don't know how specific you want to get, but anyway, um, I'm not going to finish the whole thing. Let me save this. Um, Okay, and we'll take a look and see how big that guy is. So if we take a look, let me get rid of all this copies, right? Um, the bamboo project is 8.3, right? And so that's at least half the size, if not a third the size of what you've got. And then also I think it's going to act a lot better for you when you're moving around, right? Um, so, and we could go back and try to, you know, do something more effective with the floors and the roof. But I think for right now, like if we go to, let's go to a south elevation, right? Um, Depends on the scale of it, and we'll have to see how it prints. Um, but we'll we can sort of go in and start to maybe adjust or turn these into single lines or something like that if they're getting too goofy when we get from a distance, or we can increase the divisions. You know, whatever you want to do, um, let me know. Okay.